Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. And if you want to learn calligraphy and are confused where to start from, then this video is for you. Follow these simple 10 steps to kick start your calligraphy journey. So what are these? So the first one is to watch calligraphy related videos. Since calligraphy nowadays isn't just limited to pen and paper, it would be better if you watch videos. There are tons of videos available over YouTube and Instagram. Uh, one such channel is of Calligraphy Master, you can definitely check them out. It will really help you in determining your interest. It could be calligraphy or typography or hand lettering or digital art or graffiti, anything. Also, it will help you in selecting one script, which is our next step. Step 2. Selection of script. Since you can't learn all the scripts at once, unless you are a superhuman, you have to select one script. So there are three major categories from which you can select the script from. The broad edge script, the pointed pen script or the brush script. There are a further lot of variations inside that you will get to know after you dive deep into it. Now moving on to the next step that is select one or a few artists. So when you watch videos in step one, make sure you write the names of the artists and there is a very high possibility that you can find them over Instagram. Select one or a few artists according to your script selection and uh, watch their videos, tutorials, the resources that they provide, see the progress they have made, try to emulate their work but always remember always give them credit. All right. Now moving on to the next step that is step 4 gather resources. This step is very very important. Till now you have selected the script, the artist but not the tool to write. Now do some research. Find out what tools, papers, inks, books are used by the other artists. For example, I provide information about each pen that I had used in creating that particular post. Like this you can also visit link in my bio to see all my recommended supplies. You can purchase them according to your budget and according to your expertise level. Likewise you will find a lot of information from many artists so I'll suggest you to do that and also it is recommended to gather this information from multiple artists and not just one. Since calligraphy supplies are expensive and you don't want to end up purchasing something which is of no use to you. Now so moving on to next step that is step 5 selecting the right tool. Selecting the right tool can be very tricky as the market is flooded with all types of supplies. There are a wide range of tools from economical to premium. So choose your pen wisely. For example, if you have selected broad edge script, then you have three options. First one, traditional nibs with straight holders. Then the next one is pilot parallel pens and the next one broad markers. The traditional nibs require calligraphy ink or any other medium to be used with it and uh, it has to be dipped again and again while writing. On the other hand, pilot parallel pens contain cartridge with which you can write around 100 to 150 words in one go uh, with 6 mm size and are refillable. Markers can vary from economical to premium price range. Some are refillable some are not. I'd suggest you to visit any stationery fair where you can get your hands on the product before purchase. Otherwise there isn't really a shortcut through which you can know that which product suits your hands. So you gotta try them out all to be honest. Now moving on to next step that is step 6. Opening a social media account dedicated to your art and preferably an Instagram account. So you have selected the script, have tools to write, gathered all the information and now you are ready to show the world your artistic side. Apart from that, it will really help you in tracking your progress. You will get a lot of new ideas and also you will know the current trends. So whatever you practice, take a photo and post it. Which takes us to our next step that is step 7 post consistently so irrespective of the likes comments engagement reach you get on the social media post consistently it will help you in developing a routine 
and you will be able to practice every day or almost every day. Since it takes time for our muscle memory to develop, it will only be possible if you practice on a regular basis and as I said, whatever you practice, take a photo and post it. Now moving on to next step that is step 8, take part in monthly challenges. This can really help you in doing step 7 and also will help you to improve at a faster pace. You will get a lot of ideas to write a single word or phrase or a quote. And after finishing this challenge, it will give you a sense of accomplishment. So this has really helped me a lot. I still take part in monthly challenges and uh, that's why I'm suggesting you to take part in monthly challenges as well. So to know more about monthly challenges, please check the description box. I have uh, mentioned an Instagram channel from where there you will get all the information regarding monthly challenges. So yeah, so moving on to next step that is step 9, practicing daily or almost daily. So without this everything is waste. It takes time for our muscle memory to develop and therefore it is highly recommended that you at least practice for half an hour daily. Practicing doesn't mean that you have to write a full quote or something. Just practicing basic strokes and writing all the letters from A to Z along with some words is also a good practice. So moving on to final step that is step 10, have patience. Just remember that good things take time and every master was once a beginner. So just don't stop, don't compare yourself with others, don't compare your work with other artists and believe in yourself, practice daily, achieve your target and you will do wonders. And all the best for your calligraphy journey. So this is it guys in this video. I hope you find it helpful. Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more calligraphy related content. Follow me over Instagram for my daily posts and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.